fear of rejection. That's kind of what I wanted to get my teeth into this week. I really wanted to take a deep dive into what is it that brings up such fear at the thought of a person or a company saying no to us. And I don't know if you ever had an experience when you were growing up in school um, where you picked teams or you were, you were kind of uh, stood there and then two people were asked to select their teams, one person at a time. And that horrible feeling when you were left in the, the, the last few and just desperately wanting to be picked for whatever reason at all and feeling just awful if you were the last person, as if in some way you'd failed the test by being the last one to be chosen. And I think rejection brings up so much stuff and really create some issues in our adult life as we are now. And that's what I want to explore and look at the, the underlying fears and programming that is often set in childhood when we were really young kids, you know, when we were really little, to see the impact that those two things together have on our ability to do what we desire or what keeps us stuck, or what makes it easier for us to say, oh no, I won't do that because it feels risky. Uh, I, I prefer to be safe, and uh, oh, it could, it could be a bit humiliating. So that's one of my topics for the week, so I hope you find that interesting. The other one is, do you believe that we have a soul? It's interesting because I think with the emerging um, publicity around quantum mechanics, that we're beginning to look much more of what is the intelligence that creates the universe. And if there is a soul, how does the soul fit into that? And if we have a soul, what is its purpose? You know, if we are spiritual beings living in a physical body, living a human existence, then why? What are we here for? What do we want to achieve if we assume that, you know, we've come from a place that's amazing? Why would we want to inflict uh, the, uh, the arduous toil of living life as a physical human being? So those are my two topics for the week. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, hope you're having a great week and uh, we'll touch base with you again next week. Take care. Bye for now.